Kim in the Kitchen. Today we're going to be making one of my very favorite recipes from when I was a child, chocolate chip cookies. So these chocolate chip cookies are very special to me because these are cookies that I used to make with my aunt who I used to go and stay with some during the day or during the summer or just um, she would sneak us out every once in a while and we would do something fun with her. Um, she is the one that made me love cooking. Um, because she was always the one that let me experiment and make the biggest mess and do whatever and at the end of the day I'm sure she had a huge mess to clean up, but she never ever said a word to me about having to clean it up so um, But this was one of the recipes that she and I used to make a whole lot when I would stay with her And I just love the way they they way they tasted and I loved the I don't know if it was the way they tasted so much as the the experience of making them um, but anyway, so today we're going to be making those and I hope that um, they'll be your favorite too. So what you'll need for this recipe is flour, bacon soda, salt, granulated sugar, brown sugar. You need a cup of chopped pecans, eight ounces of semi-sweet chocolate morsels. You're going to need vanilla, a cup of butter. Yeah, butter. Whew. Okay, a little butter's good. A lot of butter's better in these, I promise. And two eggs. So um, let's get started. Let's get this recipe going. So first of all, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to make sure dry ingredients in one bowl. And we're going to set that to the side so we can get our, our wet ingredients going. And then we'll get it all made up. And, uh, and then the best part about it is licking the bowl on these, even though they say now don't do that. Um, yeah, I still do it. Because chocolate chip cookie dough, who doesn't? I mean, it's my favorite. All right, here we go, guys. Let's get going. First things first, you're going to need two, two and a fourth cups of flour. So we'll get that measured out in our bowl. This um, does not have to be packed, just loosely. Uh, and then to that, we're going to add a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of baking soda. All right, and we're just gonna mix that around just a little bit. And then we're just gonna set this over to the side because we do not need this yet. So we've gotta get all of our good stuff together before we need that. So then in a separate bowl, I'm going to crack my eggs. Wipe my hands. I'm gonna crack my eggs one at a time. This is, uh, I've definitely learned this from her. I would always be like, why can't we just throw them all in at one time? And she'd be like, girl. You don't want to chop, throw your eggs all in one bowl and then you have one bad one and then mess up your whole recipe. So she always taught me to do one at a time. So we're going to put our eggs. We're going to put our cup of butter. These are just softened sticks of butter. So we'll put those in. And two softened sticks of butter equals one cup of butter. So we'll get that in there. And get that going. Start getting that cream together. Then to that, we're going to add one teaspoon of vanilla. And then we're going to add three quarters of a cup of brown sugar. And then three quarters of a cup of granulated white sugar. We're gonna let that mix together. You want that all to be good and incorporated before we go any further. I'm going to lower that down and I'm just going to scrape the sides of my bowls because some of that sugar went up the sides. You just want to make sure that everything is mixed well before you start adding the next part of this recipe. Let her go for a minute more. Alright, so this 
is what it's going to look like. It's kind of just yucky right now, but I promise you it's going to taste amazing in a minute. So that is the start to the best chocolate chip cookies you'll ever put in your mouth, I promise. Going to my aunt's as a kid was super fun. Um, she always had something planned for me every time when I went, and for my brother too. She would take both of us and we would always do something fun. Um, and cooking was one of the things that she always did with us. Either we baked a cake or we made cookies or we made meals or whatever. I actually have one niece of my own now and when she comes and hangs with me, I try to always have something fun for her to do when she comes over here or something fun to make. Um, and she always asks when she gets here, if she's staying with me for the day, what are we making today? So um, I always try to have a good recipe for her and I to make. Okay, so we have our wet ingredients all mixed together. Um, and I'm going to start now and we're going to mix in our dry ingredients. So slowly, we're going to add in all of this flour, the salt and the baking soda into this wet mixture. But we're going to do it slowly because I don't want it all over my kitchen like I used to do her kitchen. So we're just going to turn it on really low. And I'm going to start by just putting a little bit at a time in there. And let it mix for a second. And then we'll add a little more. Let that get good and mixed together. Okay, that's all good and mixed. Um, so I'm gonna show you what it's going to look like. It is cookie dough now. So it's a good looking cookie dough. So at this point now, I'm going to add in my pecans. So I'm gonna put it back on my mixer. And I'm gonna add in my cup of chopped pecans. This was my favorite part. I don't really know why, but I love pecans in my cookies. So <laughs> this is my favorite part. All right, so I'm gonna mix those in. All right, so that is all good, mixed well together. I'm gonna take our cookie mix off of the mix. I'm gonna push this back. All right, so now we have good looking cookie dough. This is probably when I would be trying to lick this beater when I was a kid. I'm gonna try to refrain myself um, while we're on camera, but this is the best part of making homemade sweets, is being able to taste the batter and all the good stuff. Okay, so our cookie dough is good and solid now. So now at this point, we are going to add in eight ounces of our chocolate chip. And these are um, semi-sweet. So that's not quite a full bag. It's about three quarters of a bag because that's 12 ounces. So we'll just mix these in. Alrighty, so we have all of our cookie dough all mixed together, chocolate chips, pecans, you can see all that goodness in there. So now this is the most, to me was the worst part of cookie making because now I have to put them in the refrigerator or the freezer and let it get hard before I can even make the cookies and this was the worst part to me. So now we're gonna do what I used to hate having to do as a kid. We're gonna pour all this fantastic cookie dough on a piece of saran wrap, and I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator for an hour <laughs> until it gets hard enough. Because what has happened is the butter has melted and got all gooey. And if you put this on your baking dish and you put it in the oven right now, it's gonna make a gooey mess. It's gonna spread out and it's gonna make a disaster. So, what we always did as a kid, or when I was a kid, was she would make me take it and we would put it on a piece of saran wrap. 
and then I would I would be so sad but anyway it was just one of those things that she just said this is what we have to do <laughs> so we did it um, we squished that down and you're gonna roll this cookie dough gonna kind of mush it out kind of like a play-doh snake I know you guys some of you have made play-doh snakes if you haven't you had a sad childhood but you're just going to kind of roll it out. Okay, so now it's in the shape of like it is when you get it at the grocery store. So then you're going to twist your ends. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it on my cookie sheet. So I can put it in my freezer. And I leave it in my freezer about an hour. Um... And let it get good and solid and it usually makes me two pretty big cookie logs and so then once that becomes a cookie log you can you can take it out of the saran wrap if you want to that's up to you um, and put it in um, a ziplock or however you want to keep it stored so it stays in the shape of a you know the cookie log like you would buy at the grocery store so we're just gonna dip and do another one of these. And this will make a bunch of cookies. So I suggest, you know, make a little bit and save the rest of the cookie dough because, you know, um, weeknights are crazy during school. And if you have small kids, sometimes you just wanna treat at the end of the night and you can make this for them. Who doesn't love homemade chocolate chip cookies? I know I love them. Um, and you can do this with any cookie dough that you make. It just makes it a little bit easier because then all you have to do once you take it out of the freezer is just chop them up into the pieces and put them on your pan, just like you do when you go to the grocery store. But like I said, if you had put this on your pan before you did this and let it get, you know, let it get hard again, um, then you would just have a mess on your hands because the butter is already melted. It's going to melt more in the oven. It's just going to pour all over everywhere. So this is what we do to keep from having to deal with that. So now I have two huge chocolate chip cookie dough logs. Okay. And we're gonna take these and we're gonna put these in our freezer and let them get solid. When I come back in about an hour, we're gonna slice these up, get them on our cookie sheet and get them in the oven. All right, so I have my cookie logs in the freezer. I have a huge mess I'm gonna clean up. Um, and then in about an hour, I'm gonna check back in and we will go ahead and slice our cookie log and make cookies and get them going in the oven for a good old tasty. In the meantime, this bowl did not get licked and so I might have to just you know just maybe just try just a little bit of it so if you are scared that I'm going to get salmonella from doing this just turn away everything is gonna be okay I'm just gonna taste a little bit of my amazing cookie dough oh yeah that's the good stuff that is the good stuff right there. So yeah, I have those cookie logs in the freezer and in about an hour, I'm gonna pull them out. I'm gonna slice them up, put them on some cookie sheets and we're gonna bake them. And these are gonna be some awesome cookies. All right, you guys, it's been about an hour and our cookie logs are ready to turn into cookies. So let's get these bad boys turned into some cookies so we can get them in the oven and give them a tasty. All right, so first things first, cookie logs. I'm gonna put them on the counter. Get one cookie sheet at a time ready. I'll we'll point you guys over here where y'all can see what we're okay. doing. So I had two of the cookie logs, two solid cookie logs, right? I'm gonna put one of those in the freezer. The other one I'm gonna slice and put on this pan and we're gonna make some cookies. Then you're gonna save that other one for a night when you come home from work, you're tired, 
you want something sweet and there's nothing in the cabinet and you remember, oh my gosh, I have a cookie log in my freezer. I'm going to pull that bad boy out and we'll make some homemade cookies real quick. And I promise you're going to be your kid's best friend at that point. Or your husband, or your wife's, or whatever. Your spouse, whoever. Somebody that lives with you, they're going to think you're amazing. Because you made homemade cookies. So, alright. Now, this is good and um, solid. So we're going to cut these and we're going to put these on here. Now, these cookies do spread a little bit. Okay, so I always just try to do like three do like three in a row because they're going to spread because they, they're full of butter I mean they're amazing so we're just going to kind of put them on there okay so a full sheet of cookies we'll put these over here I'll get these others sliced up and put on a pan looks like we're going to get two full sheets this recipe that I did today does about five dozen cookies usually, depending on how big your cookies are. Um, I like to make a little bit bigger cookies, so sometimes I get about three, three and a half dozen, um, which is fine too. Because they don't last long, however many it makes chocolate chip cookies in my house go quick. Cookies sliced and ready to go in the oven. I have my oven preheated to 350. So we're going to get these guys in there. These are going to stay in the oven about 10 to 15 minutes depending on your oven. So I'm going to put our first pan in. So I have the cookies in the oven. I have my timer set for 15 minutes, but I am going to watch these because depending on your oven, they change up a little bit. So um, I don't let mine get crispy. I like mine really soft. So I just like to check them in between and kind of look at them to make sure they're not getting too crispy because I don't want mine crispy. I like mine soft. So um, we'll do that first pan, then we'll slip the next pan in and we'll give these guys a tasty in just a few minutes. All right, guys, our timer just went off. Let's look and see how these cookies came out. Oh my, these look so yummy. Uh, all right, I'm gonna put the other batch in for 15 more minutes. All right, and we're gonna have to give one of these guys a tasty. These look so good. They look just like they did when I was little. I think they're going to be great. Let's see. Oh my. Those are really good. Kid tested. Mother approved. These are fantastic. The chocolate is perfect. The pecans make them amazing. They're soft. They're chewy. They're only going to get better once they cool off to me. They are amazing. So you need to pour yourself a huge glass of milk. Get you a couple of these. Go sit down, chill out, and enjoy this goodness right here. Um, today was fun. Walked down memory lane for a bit, and I enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Share this video with your friends. Remember that Sunday is our sweets. Wednesdays are savory days. And I'm so glad you guys joined me. I'll have this recipe along with my Instagram down below. And if you guys have any ideas of anything you would like to see me cook, or anything you would like to see me make or Maybe. bake, I really appreciate all the love and support I'm getting from these videos. I have people messaging me and texting me and commenting. Um, this has been really fun, and I enjoy doing this. So y'all keep sending me stuff you want to see me do so we can continue on with this. Thanks again, you guys. I look forward to seeing y'all on the next one. Thanks. Bye.